for is gestures and body language. What we look for here is the general uh, gestures with hands, head, the whole body, natural, sort of exaggerating what you're actually talking about. And uh, the speaker did that. And she started off, she started off with a Karima writing a but right at the beginning she did something like, oh, I did all this. And she started using her hands and her face. And she's very animated with the, the facial gestures, looking, smiling and using the hands to compliment it. I'll give a few examples here. So you, the speaker will go on and do the, the voice one next. But I'll talk about this one. So the gestures, uh, a good start with gestures right at the beginning, and she had confidence. She was standing here. She looked very confident. She wasn't just looking at people. She was actually looking down, at everybody, and smiling and using the face to enhance what she was talking about. And some examples here were about the children, energetic children, and she'd do all this sort of thing, listening to the story on the floor, to use the hands to exaggerate it. Other things, talking about the slime and the sherbet, and she did quite a lot of smiling, nice smile and laughing while she was telling funny stories about it. Body gestures, lugging loads of stuff around, and lots of arm gestures along the way. Teaching about the slime, she, there was a story about the teacher, and uh, how she was teaching slime, and the subject was, do I give up too easily? So she explained that she did all these, made all this effort to do this slime, teaching and teaching children and doing photography and all these other things. And then it comes to a point where she gives up on it because something goes wrong and maybe she shouldn't give up on it. And while she was doing that, she gave all these examples and did all this sort of thing. You know? So you could actually see her brain working in the middle of it, which is what you're supposed to do on this assignment use gestures to enhance what you're talking about. She painted a, a bus, got down here, yeah, she did the painting gestures, painted a bus, and knitted dog jumpers, rather than trying to do a thing of a dog jumper, great gestures there, and photographing wedding, she said. <laughs> then she got on about her husband. Husband. <laughs> I mean, that gorgeous red hair. <laughs> yeah. Don't know why I ever left. <laughs> and uh, so she, you can imagine this bloke with all this gorgeous red hair and her putting her hands in it. And she and it was so nice she ran across. <laughs> 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 and then she ran off to Australia. But she didn't just go to Australia, she went off to Australia! <laughs> as if she was actually <laughs> climbing the globe to get there. But again, this is just gestures. She used a lot of gestures. And then she proposed, he proposed. Yay! <laughs> usual thing. Great gestures for that too. Champagne. Champagne, do it. If you deserve champagne, really. And uh, so basically, the gestures, that was a good example to me of the speech about gestures. The F4 because it was gestures all the way through. And it was entertaining and she she made you she was on her side because she was sort of drawing you in. And you were hoping, well I was that it all worked out okay for her in the end. <laughs> she hadn't given up too easily. Obviously it did work out well because she's here giving a speech now. So the life must have ended up good. <laughs> um, so it was a good ending too. Maybe I'll do some planning and stick to it, so she's still thinking about it. That was a good ending. It wasn't just an ordinary ending. She just thought about the next step. So uh, it's, it's good to have a good ending. So all in all, it was a very good uh, F4 speech. I mean, I thought it was excellent. That got a learning point. Now the learning point, basically, was the just the timing. The timing was shorter than expected, but uh, timing is difficult because if you get if you talk slightly quicker or slightly slower or you get distracted, it's different here to when you perhaps sit at home and at home you're just talking to yourself or in a mirror. When you do it here, you don't realise how in time you can make it last.
on the Robert Slaughter, so timing is very difficult. That uh, was really the only learning point for this Cheshire speech. I thought that the, uh, the next assignment is the use of the voice, and the use of the voice in this speech was pretty good, really. It was good practice for the next one, where you use your voice and still use the gestures as well when you do the voice speech. So well done, and I look forward to hearing the speech, the F5.